Hello everyone. Some of you might have seen some um, complicated CAD models that are animated in Simscape in uh, MATLAB. So as you all know, in MATLAB, in Simulink, right, there is one category in Simulink, one part in Simulink, let me show you under the library that is called Simscape. And this is for simulating mechanical, electrical, fluid, thermal, and so on. Okay. And the way that you uh, create these physical models is you do not really need to create the differential equations or form the differential equations and then uh, use a solver to solve them. What you do, you actually connect physical elements, like let's say it's a mechanical system, gears, masses, you know, dampers, springs, if it's electrical system, resistors, capacitors, and so on, right? And in one of my videos on Simulink, I have talked about Simscape. So this video, the goal of it is not to go over Simscape, that is, a, Submodule in Simulink here. Uh, the part that I just want to talk about is this part of Simscape called multi-body. And in this multi-body, there are physical elements that you can connect together and you can make uh, mechanical structures, machines, mechanisms, and so on. Right? Now, uh, Probably in another video under my uh, MATLAB channel, uh, my MATLAB playlist, if you have seen, I run this demo called uh, SM Backhoe, simulation of a backhoe. Let me play that for you. So this is a complicated model of a backhoe, and it goes through one cycle of operation of this backhoe when it extends the jack, moves the fork, then apparently reaching and grabbing some dirt from somewhere, as you can see, and then uh, using the fork, move it somewhere else, uh, put down the dirt, goes back, close back the jacks, and ready to move on. So the question is this. MATLAB is amazing in simulations, okay, and solving differential equations, and there are lots of additional toolboxes using which you can do further analysis and so on. Like what? Like the control toolbox. For example, all of the operations in these hydraulic uh, systems are controlled in here using PID controllers, right? If you go look back here in the Simulink model, you see that this uh, physical system here called plant, the backhoe, is controlled using a PID controller. And you can provide the command signals to the controller or the reference signals. And you can also monitor the outputs of the system. So although MATLAB is amazing for such simulations and adding these extra uh, blocks from other, tool, uh, other toolboxes like control toolbox and so on and so forth, right? It is not the best in, uh, it's not really designed to create uh, complicated uh, graphics, complicated CAD models like this. Not that you cannot do this, but it takes a lot of effort to exactly form each and every one of the parts of this uh, backhoe with the exact 3D shape that they are like this. Okay, so the best way to do it is to either individually make the STL files for those blocks and read the STLs into the mass blocks of multi-body or directly bring the entire assembly that you made in a CAD software like SOLIDWORKS directly imported all the way into what? Into MATLAB in one single action. So let me show you here. If you right click on this backhoe and then go to the mask and look under the mask, you see the subsystems, right? So you see there is the backhoe arm, there is the mounting assembly, there is the vehicle themselves. And again, each one of them is a mask too. So if you look under each and every one of these, right, you can see what? The uh, elements forming that. And uh, here, as again, each one of them has a mask, but you can look under each and every one of the masks. 
to see what's going on. And you see there are lots of what? Lots of physical blocks here. And they have their own CAD designs. Okay, so instead of all of that, what you can do is, and then which joint goes where, right? So between the first member and the second member, what kind of joints do you have? Is it a revolute joint? Is it what kind of joint and so on? So what you can do, as I said, instead of all of these individual components that you can see under each and every one of these masks, which has lots of components, lots of joints and so on, these multi-body joints, what you can do is don't worry about any of that. Design your entire assembly, let's say in SOLIDWORKS, and then export it directly and read it into uh, assembly, uh, into, I'm sorry, Simscape in um, MATLAB. And how would you do that? That's the major question. How would you do it? And that's the video, the topic of this video. So let me show you. So here I'm going to work with something much simpler than the uh, backhoe. I'm going to work with a simple slider crank mechanism that I made in SOLIDWORKS. And for simplicity, I even removed the pins here. But they are constrained properly. I don't really need the pins for this to work properly. Right? And this is the slider crank mechanism. So now if I want to export all of the members with their graphics, right, with the shape of them, with the 3D uh, CAD models, and with the appropriate connection between them, what do I do? The way to go about it is something called Simscape Multi-Body Link Plugin. And this is something that you can add to your MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS. And that allows your SOLIDWORKS model, your Autodesk Inventor, and your Creo software models to be directly exported and from those software and then imported into Simscape as a multi-body model. And uh, if you work with Katia, definitely Katia cannot export to MATLAB. SOLIDWORKS does, Creo does, Autodesk does. In this case, I have SOLIDWORKS. So how do I uh, basically... Uh, install this adds on or this plugin called um, Simscape Multi Body Link. What you need to do is you go to the MathWork website in this link. I'll try to add this link under the description of my video if you want to go here. If you have both SOLIDWORKS and MATLAB, then you go here and you see that, let's say for SOLIDWORKS, uh, MATLAB 2008P and higher, you should be able to install right so there is no problem so what you need is it uh, guides you to go through the installation in this video i'm not going to install it okay i just show you where to get the installation and what to do so you go to this link which allows you to download the linker and here you go you need a, a mathwork account you log in and then it allows you for uh, each one of them whether it's um, for any version of MATLAB that you have, right? 2021, 2020, or any other version to download the installation file, right? And once you get the installation file and start the installation of that into um, MATLAB, so it gives you a zip folder and it gives you an extra file called install add-on, which you run. It extracts the zip file and then it starts the installation. And then you need a couple of other things here. One in the MATLAB to register a MATLAB server. We say reg MATLAB server and then dash reg server. This one you do in the command window. And once you do that, now that is added for MATLAB. And it's also that plugin is added to your SOLIDWORKS. The only thing is you need to go to SOLIDWORKS and enable that plugin, which you can see here, and I'm going to show you that one. So all you need is go under Tools, Add-ons, and then activate the Simscape multi-body link. Once that's the case, if you open up an assembly like this, you can export that into what? Into a file that you can read into uh, MATLAB, okay? So let's go ahead and do that since I have done the installation already, right? I have done the installation already. So I just go to SOLIDWORKS. As I said, this is an assembly. I go to Tools, 
go to add-ins and make sure here at the bottom I activate this SimScape multi-body link and then I OK that. Right? So uh, once I get that one, then it adds something for me under tools here on the very top. If you go now to the tools on the very top of it, go all the way up. Then it adds this icon for me. It says SimScape multi-body link. Then you go to export and then you allow to be exported. And the file it exports is called .xml or Simulink multi-body link. Okay, and so now you're going to export this assembly as a file called .xml. So you go ahead and then it starts exporting the assembly and the individual components of the assembly. And they are sent to my downloads folder as I specified and you clearly can see these files here and this is the one that is XML so slider crank mechanism if you look at the properties of this guy it is what dot XML so now it is exported in a format that can be imported into MATLAB you cannot still go into MATLAB uh, Simulink and then click on open and open it right that's not what you want to do and go and directly um, uh, basically open it. You cannot do that. What you need is to use one of these two commands. Either use what? Either use the command called SM import, which is Simulink multi-body import, or you can use this SM export on shape. Okay, which gives you a GUI. I would rather go with the simple command here. You can see the syntax for it. Just pass the name of the file to it. And then all it does, you don't even need an output. It just uh, creates the file directly and open it into your um, sim uh, scape or in Simulink. So let's go ahead and... Um, do that, so I say SM import, correct, and then you provide the name of the file .xml. That's all you need to do. Once the XML file is there, as you can see, once it is there, all you need is to pass it to SM import, and then it reads those individual files and the assembly, and guess what? You get your assembly in multi-body okay did i need to figure out here which one of these transforms i should use which joints what is each one of these rigid bodies the shape of the stl of them or anything do i need to start from scratch in here absolutely not i made all of my efforts in solidworks which is specialized for 3d modeling i use this linker to do the transformation job for me. I brought it here and now it is good to go. If you just click on the run, you clearly see the graphics of that is exactly like what I had in um, the SOLIDWORKS. Look at it. You see? Clearly it is what? Let me show you another direction here. Right? So you clearly can see that... Uh, it's going a little bit uh, nasty, but here, there we go. You clearly can see this is the same mechanism, right? It is the same mechanism, and more interesting than that is not only it kept the geometry, it kept the color too. Look at these colors of these members, and look here, right? And now here, once you brought it in, now you can add whatever you want to it. You can add a controller to it. You can add a force element to it. You can add a torque element. You can measure angular velocities, accelerations, forces, and whatever. So you can do a complete analysis. But the job of the CAD is done in a separate software. So I absolutely recommend if you are doing advanced simulation of complicated systems that have complicated CAD in them, I recommend you do the CAD job in SOLIDWORKS and export it through this uh, linker and then do your simulation job in SimScape multi-body. Okay, 
So hopefully this video was useful to you and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much.